Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see about how to implement the life cycle hooks in the Vue.js composition API. How we will be writing? Let's try to see in this. We already know the how to write the life cycle. What are the life cycle hooks present in the options API? We already know. So here, here are the list of the life cycle hooks which were implemented in the options API. For each of the life cycle hooks here, which which are in the options API, we have an equivalent. A uh, life cycle hook inside the composition API also. Let's try to see it here. We have before create and created here. So these two, these two, uh, these two life cycle hooks are not needed. Why? Because we are alre we are already having the setup method. So setup method is nothing but indirectly that is nothing but the before create and created only. So now when uh, in the options API we need a separate before create and created thing. So when the component is created, so you will be getting this. Uh, these these two events will be filed here when the setup when when the component is initialized setup will be filed okay when the component is initialized setup will be filed so that means this will replace the before create and created so that is the reason it is telling that not needed and here as usual we are having before mount and unmount that is nothing but when the when the component when the component is mounted okay before mounting and also this one is after mounting of the template okay and before update and updated before update and updated is nothing but when the state when the data is any in the data is updated any variable is updated so we will be will these two event hooks will be fired and before unmount and unmounted will be fired when the component has been destroyed let's try to see this one in the practical and here you are having a render tracker and render trigger also we'll try to see this life cycle hook also in this video and error captured will be fired whenever uh, any descendant component so is having any error so this will be captured here okay Let's try to see in the real time. Now here, what I will try to do is I will try to create in a separate component here life cycle. I will try to give a name life cycle, and here I will be having a template. Okay, this is the template, and in this template, what I will try to do is I will try to write one div, and in this div I will write life cycle hook. Okay, so this is the template we are having. Now in this template, what I will try to do is the script I will write here. You will be having the export default, and in this one you will be having the setup method. So this is the common barebone wireframe structure of the component create. Now let's go to the app dot view, and here let's import that life cycle, life cycle. Okay, life cycle from components slash lifecycle dot view so here you will be importing this lifecycle dot view and here go and import and add this one in the component section and here at the top what i will try to do is i will try to add here life cycle okay so i have added this one life cycle now if i try to refresh this one you will be able to see this life cycle looks component has been mounted now let's go into this one and let's write the Life cycle hooks. So, what are the mounts? First one will be the on before mount. Sorry, on before mount. Okay. So, this is the first life cycle hook. So, here it will take one function. Okay. And here I can write console.log before mounted. This is this will be fired before mounted. And another one is the on mounted. Okay. And this method, what it will take? Console.log on mounted okay and another one is the on before update okay so update whenever the data any data in the component is updated this one will be fired so let's try to see this one also on before update next one is the on update okay on update so this one will be fired when uh, after any update any 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 variable is up after updating so okay after completion of the updation so this one will be fine okay on updated and another one what you will be having is on before unmount on before unmount so this one will be fired when the component is going to be destroyed so before destroying this method will be fine this event will be fine on before on before on before unmount here i can write on before unmounted and another one you will be having is on unmounted 
and in this on unmounted i can write console.log on unmounted so here also i can write so these are the primarily what are basically used life cycle hooks so let's try to see this one in the output if i try to see this one in the output if i try to refresh it again i am able to see that before mounted and on, on on mounted we are able to see why because the component is mounted so that is the reason before mounting and after mounting these two hooks has been fired now when this update will fire so let's try let's do the update thing so here what i will try to do is i will create one variable state and i can write here it's a reactive okay it's a reactive this reactive should be imported top okay oh sorry we need to we need to write it in the setup let's remember this one okay so this is a reactive this need to be imported and here what i can do is i will write some name okay Dela web dev or something like this okay so as this is our channel name so we will write this one and this state what i will try to do is i will try to return it here return directly i can return this state sorry okay state now how can i use the top so here i can use directly state dot name okay state dot name so this is how we will be using now if i try it so lila web do i am able to see it here now if i try to refresh this one we are able to see before mounted and and on mounted we are able to, but still here we are able to see that updated is not fine so before mounted and mounted is fine so now i will try to add a button here okay so here button and update name okay you will be having the button update name and now here at the rate click dot prevent click dot prevent is equal to state dot name is equal to updated lila web dev or something we can write anything whatever you want you can write it now if i try to check the output here if i try to check the output if i click refresh here now before mounted on mounted is fired right now if i click on this one see on before updated and here you will be able to see that on before updated and on updated you are able to see so if i click here now we it's, it will be not able to update why because already has been updated now here we are able to see this on before update update right when this on unmounted and mount unmounted and unmount will fire now here we have this life cycle hook uh, component right when this component is going to be destroyed then it will be fired here i will create one variable okay let show life cycle sorry life cycle is equal to ref of true okay so i am keeping show life cycle ref of true and here what i will try to do is i will try to import it here export it here sorry and here i can write b iphone if is equal to show life cycle okay i am trying to add here one button one button and here i will be short toggle toggle life cycle or something like this we can write it here and here at the rate click dot prevent is equal to what i can say show life cycle is equal to not of show life cycle i can write it like this not of show life cycle i can write it like this so now this one is tog the the button is a toggling button for this component and here and here it is toggling right so now let's try to see the output here if i refresh this one okay and if i click here updated has been fired and if i click a toggling so here see on before unmount and unmounted is fired why because the component is going to be destroyed now if i click on toggle life cycle again again the component is coming so that is the reason mounted and on mounted has been fired okay these are the life cycle hooks in the commonly used life cycle hooks in the composition api now you will be able to see that we have seen another uh, another some extra life cycle looks that is on render track and the on render and when this render track and on render track and on, on render trigger is fired is let's try to see here so i am using this on render track here in this life cycle hook so if you try to take this on render track so this on render track when it will fire is so it will it will tell you it will take one extra it will take it will give you one parameter e so whatever the name you want you can write it so here i can write it as e and another one is the on render triggered okay so you'll be having on render triggered sorry 
on render trigger and here i will be taking then also as e and here console.log of e okay i can write it as console.log of e on console.log of e so what what it will show is so let's try to see it in the real time so here if i try to refresh this one okay if i try to refresh so you here here you are able to see one object right so this one is fired because of the render track so this is this one is fired on the render track what is this one is telling is so what are the variables that is tracking for the component rendering okay so these are the variables so name leela web dev this is the variable we are having in this component right so this variable has been tracked uh, for the component re rendered okay for the component rendering so now if i try to click on update here now here you are able to see that again rendering triggered has been fired what is this render trigger is will be fired is when the component is re rendered okay when the component here the component has been updated why because updated leela, leela web dev the name has been changed so that means the component has been re rendered so when this component has been re rendered, uh, re -rendered so this on render triggered will be fired so what it will tell you is in this e what it will contain is who is responsible for trig, uh, for re-rendering this component so who is responsible here name will name is responsible and what is the action that has been done so key and the type is set means so setting of the value and the new value is updated and the old value is the leela web dev okay so this is how we will be able to see and immediately again render track will be fired why because so the names uh, the data has been updated so again we are tracking these these variables so right now we have only the one so because of the changing any new variables has been added in the tracking or not it will be showing you okay so render tracked and render triggered is the two things is the like that okay render tracked means what are the variables that are tracking it will give you and on render triggered means so why who is responsible for triggering of that com uh, for triggering of that re-rendering of that component it will give you okay so these are the common life cycle hooks which we will be using how we can write it in the composition if okay have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you